Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. So in this one, we create a lot of UI. So as you can tell down here, we have a lot of new UI and this is actually really complicated to mash all together. So it's a fairly long episode about mashing all of this together. And uh, of course, it's not 100% completed. We still don't have the other menus, but we've completed one and the rest is pretty much just copy and paste. So, oh, by the way, we also modified the size of our camera. So as you can tell right here, this is now a square camera, and our game is pretty much squared. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so we got quite a big episode ahead of us. Um, we're going to be making UI, and UI is going to be a big, big part of the game, because it's, first, it's going to take almost half of the screen while you're playing, and this is pretty much where you're going to be choosing to level up. Um, choosing to launch an ability, choosing to start a research, or to convert currency. So, um, inside of the game scene, we are going to right-click on the canvas and go ahead and just create a new panel. And this is going to be uh, what I like to call bottom UI, and it's fairly simple. That's going to be the UI at the very bottom. So the way I'm going to do this is right now I'm going to leave the panel on. So this panel, I've created a new panel. And I'm going to increase the alpha, like so, of the image. Now this way I can see what exactly it takes in the screen. Now it's taking the whole screen, so we're going to be changing that. Let's actually anchor it at the very bottom. Also moving the pivot point by holding shift. And we're going to make this, um, we're going to make sure that our screen, our game screen, is actually square. So right now we got 480 by 800, which is the resolution that we've got up here and also the resolution we've got as a reference in the canvas scaler. So what we're going to be doing is go to the bottom UI, just type in 800 minus 480. And this way it's going to give us a nice square for the game. So this is going to be the game screen. Now the UI is all going to be done down here. And let me just start laying down the UI now, I didn't make any Photoshop sheet, and I should have done that beforehand to actually show you what I'm trying to achieve. But instead, we'll try to recreate it. Um, pretty much, I'll try to recreate what's in my main um, as accurate as possible. So, first off, I will need a, a navigation bar. So, I'll go right here in the canvas and create a new UI panel again. And this is going to be my navigation bar. And this is going to allow me to swap in between the four menus we're going to have. So navigation bar, I'll go ahead and just anchor it at the very bottom. Uh, width, let me just leave that on say 440 to give it a small padding on each side. And as for the height, let's make it 75. Now it's fairly hard to see, but it's right here. So I'm going to change the color so we can actually see it like that. And boost up the alpha. So that's going to be my navigation bar. Inside of the navigation bar, I right click, add some new buttons. So here we go, that's our first button. And I'll just quickly change that for stats. So I've got a single button with the stat text. Now back on my navigation bar, I'll go ahead and add a horizontal layout group. And let me just rename the first button again. Sorry I'm doing things in a weird order. Uh, but it's going to get a little bit better soon. So navigation bar has one button, the stat button. It also has the horizontal layout group. Now if I go in the stat and I hit control V, control, I mean control C, control V to duplicate, or I think control D does the job, yeah. You can also hit control D on the keyboard. We are going to duplicate this four times, so we have four buttons. Now uh, something I should have done before actually duplicating those uh, is actually go in the text and hit best fit. Okay, now I'll go ahead and just duplicate. So we've got the stats. The second one is going to be abilities, like so. I'll also rename the button here. And the third one, let's let's put research. Same thing for the text. And finally, let's put currency. There might be some typo, but don't worry, those are not the final image, and of course, are, those are not the final buttons for the game. Of course, but we haven't done the art just yet. 
So here they are, that's our navigation. Now, what would like to happen, when I click on one of those buttons, it actually swapped the content of this panel. It is going to be a panel right here, the bottom UI. And um, inside of here, there's going to be pretty much just content about the stats, about the ability, about the research, and about the currency. Now, this is where it gets a little bit complicated because we have four different menu at the same exact play. So I try to be really careful with what I do. The first thing I'll do first, um, we, have, we have the bottom UI right here. And to make sure that our content never goes past that, we are going to add a mask. So that's the first thing we need to do. We add a mask to the bottom UI. Now, right underneath that, I'll go ahead and create a panel for my first menu, which is the stat. So stats panel, oops, little mistake here. And I'll make sure to change its color so I can actually tell. So the stats are going to be say something like that. Um, now, of course, there's not the final size, but we have a good idea for which one it is now that it has a color. Okay, so what I did right here is I just anchor this at the very top. I will then scale down the width to say 440 to have a nice padding on the sides. As for as for the height, let me just do um, 320 minus 75. So we've got this now out of the navigation bar, as you can tell. Now that's going to be pretty much it for the sizing, I think. Yeah, this looks great. Now we're going to go ahead and create a new list inside of that. So um, the way we're going to do this is create another panel once more. And this is going to be the stat list. OK, so now you might be wondering why are we doing so many of those? And that is because we're going to be using scroll rec. And scroll rec can't be on the same object we're scrolling. And it's just, it's just really a good mess with the new UI. But it actually works super well in the end. So. And like I said, just bear with me, we're almost done. And finally, inside of the stats list, we are going to create another panel, and that's the final one. So the panel is going to be stat um, container. We could, yeah, we could call this stat container. And every single stat container is going to be uh, something like, okay, so this is hit point, and this is zero level. Here's a nice little image of your stat and uh, so on. This is what you need to level up. Right, so we're going to be crafting this piece of UI right now, the stat container. And the way I'd like to do it is, uh, let's go ahead and first add a layout element to it. Preferred width and preferred height. Preferred width should be 440. Preferred height should be something like 75. Now let's move this to the side so we can actually see it a little bit better. Oh, we can't because of the mask. Okay, so we're just going to be playing here. Something like that. So just make sure that the height is like 75 or something of the sort. Now I'm going to crank up the opacity so we can actually see it. And inside of the stat container, that's where you get you get creative. That's where you, you play stuff like you want it to be in the end, right? Now just remember that this is going to be stacked on top of each other until you have all the stats listed. So in the end, it's going to be a nice scrollable list like that. And you can scroll through the stats depending on which one you want to level and so on. So we've got our stat container. I'm going to add a new image, uh, maybe it's width of 75, height of 75, and I'll move it to the very left, like so. Maybe a small padding of 5. And also maybe reduce the height to say 65 and the width also. Right, so this is where I'm going to have like an image of uh, say a heart, a heart piece for a hit point. So that's the stat icon. And still inside of the stat container, let me just add a new text field. Text field is going to be anchored on the very left, starting at, um, say, 75. Has a 8 of 50, or maybe 60. And a width of, I'm not quite sure yet, let's just go ahead and put 220. Okay, so this is going to be aligned like this in the middle has a font size of say 40. The text is going to be something like hit point. And 
I think that's going to be pretty much it. So stat title. And here we go. Now again, I'm going to right click on the stat container. Now this time I'll add a button. So this button is going to be anchored on the very right. Reset its position, maybe give it a small offset of, of minus five again. And as for the height, let me just put that on say 60. And the width, maybe a hundred. Is that not enough? Maybe 125. Okay, let's just go back to 800. Right, so inside of that button, I'll just go ahead and say um, 800 gold level up. Something like that. Of course, in the end, this is going to be all dynamic and we're going to be calling this from code. Right, so this is the level up button. And finally, I think we need one more text element. So right click on here, new UI, text, anchor it on the very right. Now I am going to align this on the right side, like so, and give it a position X of minus the size of that button. So that would be 100 minus five for the margin. So minus 105 maybe another five. So minus 110 and now I can boot this up the scale and say something like level dot zero. Maybe change the color as well for something like red if you wish. And here we go. That is going to be the stat level. Okay, so now this looks really complicated. We've done a lot of new game object. Now here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking the stat container, drag and drop this somewhere inside of the prefab folder so we don't lose it. And I'm also going to create a new folder, so a new UI folder inside of the prefab and I can just put that in here. Okay, so now the way we're going to be stacking this and we're going to be able to scroll through that is by adding, well first off we're going to be adding more stat container but before that Let's go on the stat panel. On the stat panel, we need a scroll rect. This is going to allow us to scroll um, all the elements inside of the stat list. Talking about the stat list, we also going to be assigning the stat list to the content here on the scroll rect. Now we don't want to be moving on the horizontal axis and we'd like our movement to be clamped. That is really important so our, um, our UI doesn't actually go too far away when we're trying to scroll. Okay, I think we're pretty much done with this. Now let's go on the stat list. And on the stat list, we need a vertical layout group. And now this is going to mess up your thing a little bit, but don't worry, we're going to get it back in a moment. You are going to uncheck force expand on both width and height. And also, um, I'm going to start stacking them up her center. So we've got our vertical layout group. Now we need another thing, a content size fitter. And the vertical fit got to be on, say, um, preferred size. Yep, okay, so once we've got these two on the stat list, we can go ahead and just duplicate the amount of hit points we have. And this is what we get in the game. So we've got a nice menu, we can scroll up and down and it clamps properly. Now, of course, we've got hit point here, but it's going to be hit point and um, lock and all that kind of stuff. We need to change them all manually, which is which is fine because we have a set amount of stats in the game. Oh, and before we call this done, um, let's just go ahead and fix a little bug we have. So when we boot the game right now, we're in the middle of the list, as you can tell. Uh, let's actually make sure it starts from here. To do so, we're going to go on the stat list, put the position on zero. And also make sure that the pivot is up here in the center. Right, so once this is done, we should actually be able to go ahead and just boot the game, go inside the game. And here we go. So we have our stats and our hit points. Um, well, we pretty much have our UI working. Now we need to fix our screen a little bit because right now the camera is not really in focus. 
and also we gotta be putting our um, our recap so this thing over here the recap menu we're gonna be putting it at the very end here like so so it's always on top let's actually do that while the game is not running so I'm gonna go back in game recap menu take it and put it right about here now as far as the camera goes if we go in the game and uh, we have a look right now this is obviously not correct and this is not going to work so while I'm in the game I'm actually going to hit pause and have a look at my main camera over here. So this main camera, see if we can change the viewport rec and just bump up the Y a little bit so it looks good. Now you could just be pumping it right here and this would actually do the job but I'm not sure if this is going to be nice for every single one of your games. Now of course depending on your resolution you might want to change the Y amount but for me in this case 0.4 does the job just fine. So I'm going to go back in my game and actually set 0.4 in my Y component for the viewport rec. Okay guys, well that's going to be pretty much it. So I hope you learned something. If you did and, or if you enjoyed the video, please give me a like. really appreciate that. If you have any question or comment, you can also leave them in the comment section below. And also subscribe for more tutorial in the next few episodes. We're actually going to, well, pretty much just do the rest of the menu and start actually implementing those stats we've been waiting for for a while. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.